This program is brought to you by Omsai Tax and Business Solutions, Y2 Academy. Channel and viewers, welcome to NRI Voice. Now, we are at omsai.com tax and accounting services. I think most of us, you know about that there are a lot of changes in the tax reforms uh, that, that are going for in 2018. Um, hello, Hari Bapi Raju. How are you? Uh, thank you, Radhika. Thanks for coming to our studio today. So we heard a lot about your OMSAI services and that you're doing the best uh, as a tax provider. So how many years, years have you been in this uh, area? Uh, we've been here for about 18 years, so okay. helping the local uh, small businesses as well as individuals. You know. Oh, okay. Yeah. So uh, is it how many branches do you have? Uh, right now we have an office in uh, Pennsylvania and Virginia. Okay. And uh, we are planning to sh set up in all 50 states uh, by next year. Okay, so it's not only a few states, so you're going to across the U.S., right? Yeah, we have a lot of uh, franchises who are interested, and we are planning to expand all 50 states. And we also have mortgage solutions, taxes and mortgage, so the combination is pretty good. Oh, so you also provide other services in, uh, uh, besides the tax services. You also provide mortgages, yeah, mortgage. right? Okay, okay. And we heard that uh, there are a lot of uh, tax reforms, changes going on in yes, 2018. Sir. So can you brief us uh, to our channel and viewers, what are the changes and what are the benefits that uh, for the, all the taxpayers? Uh, actually, uh, Trump tax lies are pretty good for individuals because... Uh, uh, right now, the standard deduction is like $24,000 for married filing couples, mm -hmm. and it's $12,000 for single people. Okay. And he removed all the job expenses, moving expenses, all that. So he made it pretty simple for a lot of people. Okay. And uh, the child tax credit also, before it was $1,000, mm -hmm. now it's uh, increased to $2,000. Oh, that's awesome. But the drawback is uh, you need to have social, the kids should have a social security number. Okay. If they don't have social, it's actually, if they have IT number, it's actually reduced from 1000 to 500 So. Oh. Okay, so so this year uh, all the taxpayers can expect a good amount of returns. Do you? What do you think? Yes, uh, actually lower middle class uh, people who are making like 200k and there are a couple of kids they're actually getting good refunds. Mm -hmm. But okay. people who are like uh, higher middle class who, who, who are paying who, because the salt is also ten thousand dollars limited to. Okay. The okay. state and local income taxes are limited to ten thousand dollars limit. Okay. So a lot of people are losing on that side, and. Uh, so they are losing on one side, but the child tax rate is increased to 2,000. So oh. for them, it's n I th for uh, up upper middle class, I think it's uh, no change. Oh, okay. But for lower middle class, there are a lot of benefits here. I have one small question. Maybe okay. a lot of people might be aware, but a lot of people might not also be aware of the question. Okay. Uh, like uh, who are people who are staying, residing in one state and people who are uh, working in another state, how does okay. this tax filing uh, uh, what is the process? How are the refunds and how do we need to pay, to pay the taxes? Uh, uh, generally, when there are multiple states involved, uh, there are a couple of things you should consider. First thing is the reciprocal agreement. Okay. Uh, for example, Virginia, Maryland, D.C. and Pennsylvania, they have reciprocal agreements. Uh, what do you mean by reciprocal agreement? Uh, basically, wherever you live, that's where you pay tax in. For example, if you live in Virginia, mm -hmm. but I work in Washington, D.C., mm -hmm. I don't have to pay tax to D.C. I have to pay taxes to Virginia only. Okay, what if they pay taxes to DC and... Uh, so, uh, when you file your taxes, you're supposed to get all the money back from okay. DC okay. and then uh, pay taxes to Virginia. Okay, that sounds a little bit... Because a lot of people might not be aware of this tax filing. I mean, yeah, how this process... They may make a mistake, they withheld to the wrong state mm -hmm. because they're not aware of the reciprocal agreement rules. Yeah, yeah. And uh, while filing taxes, we'll take care of those things. Okay. And how do you differentiate from other tax filer people? Because... Uh, uh, there are a lot of tax filing uh, services here across this area. So how do you differentiate yourself from them? Uh, we are local here, so we are very accessible to the customers. Mm -hmm. And a lot of those customer uh, filings, are they are they're for overseas. They're, once the filing is done and you pay them, they don't respond to your calls. Yeah, and if there's an audit, uh, they don't respond properly. Yeah. I'm IRS and roll in, so I represent the clients. I can go to a local Tyson's corner office and okay. represent and all this. So especially you say that you're reachable to all the people because yeah. uh, these days we are getting a lot of online uh, people yeah. who are calling and they are just filing the tax, uh, asking for to file the taxes, but we don't uh, physically go to them and can talk to them. Maybe yeah. you this is one of the advantages sure, sure. area. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Uh, and I have one more question. How do you differentiate between the individual taxpayers and business taxpayers? What are the benefits? Uh, uh, as part of Trump, actually, it's uh, pretty good for the businesses. Mm -hmm. 
uh, Trump gave this uh, 20 percent uh, is called QBI qualified business income deduction 20 percent oh, okay. okay. so for example people who had S corps or LLCs mm -hmm. and uh, for example if they made hundred thousand dollars income mm -hmm. they could now they could take twenty thousand dollar deduction oh, okay. so and if their tax rate is around uh, say 35 percent they could have saved seven thousand dollars extra this year because okay, of is it the same for C corp also uh, not for C corp, only for uh, S corp LLCs and small businesses. For C corp, in, they made it a flat tax rate of twenty one percent. Okay. So before they were like uh, slabs, right? They mm -hmm. they made single slab. Even if you are a Ford company or a small startup company, and you say C corp, you just pay flat twenty one percent tax now. Oh, twenty one percent. Okay. So even though they don't get any income or anything, just they need to just pay flat twenty one percent. Only when they get income, yeah. Okay. If they make even hundred dollars, they have to pay tax on twenty one percent. Yeah. Twenty one percent. Okay. So it made it simpler, you know, kind of simpler instead of having so many different and all yeah, that. Yeah. So yeah. actually, it's good for big companies actually because before their tax rate was twenty five percent, now they made twenty one percent. So yeah, because there are a lot of startup companies also, right? Yeah. Who, yeah. Okay. Before we approach you, what are the tips that they have to take care? Uh, the best tip I can give is uh, start a small business. If you're if you're H four EAD, I think you can legally start a business. Mm -hmm. And because uh, the standard deduction is twenty-four thousand dollars, you cannot put any expenses in personal these days, like your cell phone bill, internet bill. All those are gone from personal taxes. So best thing is if you are EAD or uh, eligible to start a company, better do start a company. Is the right time to start a company in US? You know. <laughs> That's a good news to all the H4 EADs, right? Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. Okay. And uh, and also said that you uh, have uh, other services that you have been providing other services like mortgage. Yes. Sir. So would you like to share some of your tips or what do we have? Anything about those uh, your services? Sure. Actually, the interest rates came down recently. It's like four four percent and three point five. I think in the last one and a half year it's been the lowest this month. Okay. So I would encourage uh, people who have not bought a house to buy it. And uh, and you can actually shop around, but our rates are the cheapest. And I think uh, we are going to be number one mortgage company in Virginia soon. Okay, so do you think the interest rates might go still down like 3.25 or something like that? Uh, that golden uh, age, uh, the golden age we had in 2016, I don't think that uh, rates will come back anytime. Okay. But we'll be we'll be floating around this. Uh, so whoever have fixed three point two five for thirty years, uh, they can still go with that. Yeah, they can stick. Uh, they, they don't have to refinance. You know that golden period is gone. But still, the rates are pretty slow r lately. Mm -hmm. So I would uh, encourage them to buy a house and uh, okay. start a business. You know. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's a fantastic advice. Who can buy the house? Even the H one holders also can buy the house. Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, yeah, they can also buy the house. They the same rules apply for them also. So. Okay. As long as they qualify the debt by income ratio and loan by value ratio, mm -hmm. and we have some private investors also. If they are on the edge and they not qualify, we can we can see if any private investor can help uh, them to get the loan and. Oh, okay. Uh, that sounds so interesting. All the topics like taxes, mortgages, who are dealing with for the day-to-day -day life. Everyone has to deal with all this. So thank you so much, uh, Hari Papirajigaru. I hope you're going to come for your taxes to homesai.com tax services. Oh, definitely. Not only me. All our channel N viewers are going to come to you <laughs> after watching this. Definitely, they'll be knowing more about uh, your tax filings and uh, what. Basically, they'll be knowing how feasible. Like because you're local here, and uh, of course, this is across. But uh, mostly they'll reach you. And, and our prices are also very competitive. Uh -huh. So they, we, we give them good prices. We don't. Um, so okay. price wise also, it's all free quotations. Though, so we don't charge them until they're happy, you know. Oh, okay. Okay. So then the way. Oh, by the way, I wanted to. Uh, what is the timeline? By, by like, m of course, everyone might know. But you, if you can tell, what is a deadline to file the taxes for individual as well as for business? For business is March fifteenth. Mm -hmm. S corps, LLCs, and all that. Okay. And for individuals is April fifteenth. Oh, and okay. uh, if they're running late for some reason, they can file extension. Okay. As long as long as they don't owe money to IRS, they're good. Uh, even though they file extension, they make sure they pay their taxes by April fifteenth. Okay, that sounds great. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much. All the channel and viewers, hope uh, you come and visit omsai.com. Make sure that uh, you file all your taxes uh, before the deadline. For the individual, it's April 15th and for the business, it, it's March 15th. Okay. In, if you have any questions, like please contact uh, the phone number which is scrolling below. Hope you all understood about new tax features. Thank you all. Signing off, Radhika.